Welcome to another Sunday WOAY ABC4 Community Forum, where we talk to community leaders and local success stories to discuss important information that affects all of us here in Southern West Virginia. I'm your host, Brandi Lawrence, and today we're joined by two distinguished guests, Lori McKinney, co-founder and executive director of the Riff Raff Arts Collective, and artist James Hart join us this morning. Thank you so much for joining us here at the Forum. Yeah, thanks so much for having us. Of course, always a good time. And I know you're new to the Forum. <laughs> So Fair. today we're going to talk about the uh, We Need to Talk initiative, and we talked a little bit about it last time, but um, you know, for the people out there that might not be familiar, what is this all about? So We Need to Talk is a movement using music videos and docu-shorts to catalyze community uh, healing. Uh, we want to bring people together to, to talk and stoke community dialogue. So we're working with talented artists like James Hart. Um, to create music videos with songs that they've written, either about issues that they're passionate about or just ways that they see the world that they wish that the community could open their hearts to. And we're trying to share this, these videos with as many people um, as possible and just bring people together for, for dialogue. Awesome. And what was the inspiration behind, uh, behind this initiative? <laughs> it's been so nice to get over the years with the Riff Raff Arts Collective. We've, um, we've been at this for 20 years and just uh, really kind of cultivated a, a community of artists, who, um, most of them who just really care about you know, their fellow neighbor and just wanting to use music and art um, to, to make the world a better place. And specifically our neighborhood in downtown Princeton, uh, we have a really wonderful community of songwriters, um, young and old, um, that, that come together for open mic nights and, and music lessons. James is a mm -hmm. teacher at Stages Music School, and it's just a really nice community of artists. And we've always wanted to, um, to focus uh, video and create media using that music and so we're really excited to be able to create music videos. It's such a wonderful art form and um, I've heard some people say they miss music videos. They used to say they grew up watching MTV mm -hmm. and music videos were such a part of our, our lives and so it's a, a really powerful medium. I think music is a universal language and we all know it can oh, tug heartstrings and open people's minds in very unique ways and I always think if a photograph is worth a thousand words, if a picture is worth a thousand words, how many words is video worth? <laughs> so creating music videos with, with these artists has been um, really inspiring for us and I think the community has, has really enjoyed it and we're excited today to uh, actually premiere this music video. This will be the first time that anyone in the public has gotten a chance to see this music video um, with the song that James has written called Compassion and Contrast. Wonderful. Yeah. Oh, well, we got something exclusive, W-O-A-Y. Yeah. So, um, I think you're definitely right about the music video thing. We talk about my family, I mean, talk to my family about this all the time. Like, you can't just go on MTV and watch videos anymore. No. So, um, and with the artists and things, are is everyone from the collective, or is it kind of like branch out of whoever's interested can make a video and join in? Or? Currently, we're working on eight music videos, and so the artists that we're working with on this uh, particular uh, set of videos uh, have been involved, and that's how we know each other and have the relationships. But. We love this project so much that it's going to be a part of our work indefinitely. So we're always looking for new artists. And uh, feel free, anyone that would like to um, get involved, or, or please shout out to us. And we're always looking for songs and artists to, to create the next sort of set of music videos with. Awesome. And I know working here at the station, there are some people that like to do behind the scenes. So are you looking for anybody in that aspect, too? You know, we are, I was just talking earlier about how there's always a, a need for production of uh, people and we're always looking to meet new people so we would love to anyone that wants to reach out to get involved with us we would love to hear from them awesome so just uh riffraff arts collective yep the riffraff.net is our website and they're welcome to give us a phone call or shout out on facebook or on the website or anyone else any way they'd like to reach out to us or come come and see us in princeton awesome. and you said for this new video that we're going to premiere today um it's compassion in contrast. In contrast. Yeah. So what really inspired that, you know, title and the, you know, this focus? <laughs> uh, well, uh, it started as far as when I wrote the song. I wrote it, um, it was like, it was pre-pandemic. And, uh, you know, we were experiencing a lot of division. Uh, you know, there was a lot of riots going on, different things like that. We had the Tiki Torch guys, which, you know, I loathe. Um, and, you know, I've, I've just seen this shift, and that's what inspired me to write this song. It wasn't until the pandemic when I actually recorded it. I actually recorded this song in my living room because I was doing uh, lessons and stuff from uh, uh, virtual lessons. And... Uh, um, it just really, I think the idea behind the song itself and the video is to 
not really show an opinion. I think we've got enough opinions. Um, but just to uh, be like a, you know, a mirror of, you know, through my own lens. And uh, it's, um, hmm, how do I say it? Um, I feel like from my perspective, when I, when I talk to you about the world, you're a caring person. You love people. You're such a kind, you're a kind person. And I think a lot of what we've seen in these times is just people losing compassion for each other and yeah. losing our humanity. And the song to me, when I hear it, it's just so beautiful. It tugs at my heartstrings. Um, when you listen to it, I think that you'll feel the same. It's hard not to feel emotions when you listen to the song and just the, the notion of, of, allowing people to consider and think about yeah. how do we treat each other? Yeah. You know, yeah. how, how do we have compassion for each other when we're, um, have we lost that and why? And how right. can we get back to a more humane um, understanding and attempt to understand each other? And how do we have more compassion for each other? And yeah. what is the world right now and how could it be? Yeah, and the, the contrast part is, as you'll see in the video, um, it's a contrast as to how things, sh and it's all um, symbolism, mm -hmm. you know, but it's a, it's a contrast of how things should be and how things really are. And, and that's really it. It's just a um, picture, if you will, of uh, the way I see it. Um, in, the, in the video, you'll see a little girl with a balloon, and uh, that was our take on... Uh, just the basic idea of the song, which is empathy and compassion. And no matter what, the balloon goes, uh, the little girl with the balloon goes through the whole video. She goes through where it should be, you know, where we should be as a society. And into where we, you know, like a, a caricature of what we, what we see towards. today. Yeah. yeah. Oh, what's happening right now. Yeah. That's wonderful. And it's, you know, really important, especially like, uh, you know, us being in the news, we're seeing the division in like real time and people's like opinions differing and clashing. And it's hard to come to a common ground because, you know, some people are very set in their opinions. But yeah, I think that people can't really realize how it could be hurting different people. So that compassion part is super important. Like, right, you know, right. we have contrasting, you know, opinions, but it's important for us to be compassionate towards you know, the people around us. Yeah, and that's across the board. Definitely. I mean, <laughs> uh, it just seems like uh, recently with pandemic and all of this stuff that we've, I don't know if we've forgotten it, we've just become a little set in our ways. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, when you go to Walmart or somewhere like that, you know, it's, it's just, it's, we're West Virginia, man. We're supposed to be really nice to each other. And, you know, we're known for that, you know, outside of here. And there's not as much of that. Everybody's in a hurry. Every, everybody's in, a little more impatient. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it's, it's not their fault. It's just, you know, we just don't think so much about that anymore. And that's what we're just really hoping to do with this whole project is from this point forward, we want to lift the voices of artists and just listen to each other and find ways that we can connect like we're doing right now and just hear each other and just talk and see what we can come up with. So I think that uh, the trailer of the, the project that we're getting ready to watch um, it just kind of gives an overview of what we need to talk is all about. I'm excited for y'all to see it. Awesome. And we do have a teaser available. I don't know if we were ready for that right now. I think so. All right. I think we're, all right. we're ready to go. Let's go ahead and take a look at the teaser. <laughs> We all have so much to learn from each other. No one has all the answers. We may have our minds made up on a certain issue and think that there is no other way until we get a glimpse from another's perspective and hear about the lived experience from someone who is walking a vastly different journey than our own and our minds and our hearts are open. We need to listen deeply to each other, try our best to connect and understand our neighbors and help us lead towards a more just and harmonious way of life. Now, more than ever, it is vital. So We Need to Talk is a movement using music videos and docu-shorts to build bridges and catalyze community healing. 
So what that means is we're creating works with artists who have written songs about either issues that they're passionate about or ways that we see the world that we wish that the community could open their hearts to. We're going to use these videos to stoke community dialogue and hopefully build some bridges along the way. We need to talk. Catch the next video in the series, Compassion and Contrast, available online starting July 11th. Find out more at theriffraff.net slash we need to talk. That was awesome. I love that. Mm. And it's really awesome, like even in the teaser, you can see, you know, people from different walks of life, people of different lifestyles and things like that pretty much coming together in as a community. So, I mean, that's beautiful to see, especially, you know, here in West Virginia, I think there's a misconception that it's just one type of person, like, right. but I mean, it's people of all walks of life. I'm a lifelong West Virginian, and I've had people ask me all the time, where are you from? Because I think they're used to people being from outside of here, and I'm like, mm -hmm. born and raised. <laughs> like, so that's really awesome. Um, the people, you know, involved, were these people, you know, right in Princeton that you found that, you know, just wanted to get involved? It is really interesting. Everything that you see in that teaser and in the first music video, all the actors and all the places, they're right here from Southern West Virginia. And I think there's a lot of creative people and it, that haven't been as many creative outlets as we would have hoped growing up. So we try to just kind of create uh, opportunities for folks. And yeah, it's all local people. I think some pe people are surprised that artists like James and there's so many of them, uh, just like you said, all uh, there's just a... I think people just don't even really realize, um, but so many wonderful creative people here. Yeah, and honestly, you know, before I started speaking to you with Forum and things like this, I didn't know that there was such a big, like, art scene in Princeton that you all are really facilitating and nurturing. So that's really awesome, too, to just know that it's out there. And if there are any artists out there, they can kind of come on over. Yeah, please shout out. <laughs> so um, we're about to go on to our first break. But before we do, can you plug the contact information for people to get in touch with you all? Yeah, absolutely. Um, do I look over there? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> so anyone that uh, would like to reach out and get involved, we would love to hear from you. You can visit uh, theriffraff.net. And on our website, or you can reach out to us on Facebook or come see us in Princeton, our art gallery at 869 Mercer Street. We're open from Monday through Saturday from 10 to 6. Just stop by anytime. All right. Awesome. All right. So that makes our first half. You guys stay tuned for our second half. You got to look at the little tease. But next half, we are going to look at the full video. So you guys stay tuned. <laughs> All right. Mics are off. Welcome back to Sunday Community Forum. I am here with Lori McKinney from the Riff Raff Arts Collective and artist James Hart, and we're talking about the We Need to Talk initiative. So um, we're gonna go ahead and start. Oh, while we were during break, you're talking about the community conversation. So what's that about? So we're so excited to premiere this music video uh, today here on the forum. It'll be the, uh, the first time the public has gotten to see this music video. But we'll release it onto the internet this week on Tuesday so anyone can go um, online and watch it if they'd like to see it again or if they missed the chance to see it today. Um, but then perhaps the most important part of this We Need to Talk initiative is our community conversation. We invite anyone that would like to be a part to come in. We're going to watch the music video and we're also going to premiere the short documentary piece that accompanies the video where we really dig into the meaning behind the video and talk to people who are a part of creating it and um, just really in that effort to kind of stoke more community dialogue and we'll have delicious food and drink from local businesses yeah. in our neighborhood. It's free of charge. It's on July 20th at Stages Music School where, where James teaches at 7 o'clock so anyone's welcome to join us. Awesome. And I think that's really cool because, um, you know, you're creating the dialogue already with the music video, but then you're getting the real, you know, dialogue and community conversation at your community conversation. So. Yeah. Looking forward to it. The documentary piece too, hopefully it'll just be sort of a, a conversation starter. Um, and we'll get to hear a little bit more from James and um, some of the other, like the young girl that you'll see in the music video. She's such a sweetheart. And I think oh, that- Oh yeah, she's perfect yeah, for the, uh, yeah. Yeah, she really felt the kind of the meaning behind the project. So I'm really mm -hmm. eager to hear what she has to say about her experience. And was that the girl we saw with the balloon? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 
James had a really clear vision with this video. What we like to do with the project is really fall, take our production um, kind of team and just fall behind the artists and allow them to decide what they feel called to speak out on and just sort of help execute their vision. And when we came to James, this song is just absolutely beautiful. It's so moving, and um, I felt it so deeply when I first heard it. And when we approached him with the idea of doing the project, um, you had a very clear vision of what you wanted to see. Yeah, yeah. Um it started out honestly. Whenever in my head it was a, uh, uh, it was just like a. I think the first idea was a like a butterfly or something flying through the woods or something. Camera following it, but um, of course that's pretty hard to do. Yeah. You know, <laughs> uh, and that would cost a lot. So um, uh, we were trying to figure out something that would symbolize the the main idea which again is uh compassion empathy that sort of thing um and we we come up on the idea of uh, of a little girl and uh it ended up uh, her holding a balloon so in a way the girl is the focus but the balloon is also uh, the focus too um and that's the symbol going through the entire thing uh yeah, yeah, and, and Robert and Billy sort of put their minds to it, and uh, they did an amazing job with the video. Uh, and it's pretty much exactly how I wanted it. They're such talented um, yeah, uh, videographers. I mm mean, -hmm. um, just their vision and watching them work together is really beautiful. But also, a lot of the people that came together when you watch the oh, video yeah. to see the scene. Just an incredible community of artists, and they all just knew ex they they understood the assignment. They <laughs> did. They, they, they were super awesome. Really, a lot of the um, they're just incredible people to work with, and it's interesting when you see the second scene. It's in downtown Matoka, and we captured I think one of the last visuals of the downtown because it's actually getting ready to um, unfortunately be demolished mm -hmm. because uh, the buildings are just beyond repair. But we're, we were really glad to be able to kind of capture and get to have mm -hmm. some really good video of of that uh, downtown, which is will be part of our county's history. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I, th I think we caught it in the middle of. I think they were. Uh, cleaning stuff out of the buildings and stuff. So it actually, uh, it helped with our set and the idea that we were trying to, to get. Um, well, the idea that that had morphed into, I think, by that time. Uh, so yeah, it was perfect. I'm Perfect curious set. to hear everybody's reactions. I'll be curious to hear yours too. I think that that balloon and the, the symbolism is such an abstract kind of visual and I'll be curious to hear what it evokes for people and what it brings up. And honestly, I can kind of see how that um, scene with the little girl, you know, walking with the balloon, it kind of, mm -hmm. It kind of works like as the you know your butterfly that you wanted right. to do because you yeah. know you kind of see the floating and it kind of symbolizes you know innocence and just kind of lightheartedness and which is sort of what we need more of right. today just exactly. more lightheartedness and understanding and compassion for each other so and even you know the, them moving the things out of the buildings and stuff change right <laughs> so that would be really cool so um i don't know if the video is ready i would love to go ahead and take a look at it so all right, well, let's go ahead and take a look. It's not hard to forget. It's not hard to forgive. It's not hard to love another. Though we act like it is. It's so easy. So easy Is yes, it really out of fashion To show someone compassion Emotion starts with action And begins to gain traction If we try At least we try Instead we live a lie And 
shut her eyes while they steal from all their brothers. They don't care. They don't care. That was awesome. I absolutely mm, loved you. it. You're a great musician. You have a great voice as thank well. You. So um, I can definitely see, you know, all the symbolism that you were talking about, even like the little girl kind of looking in the tree mm -hmm. and, um, you know, the people walking down the, I mean, running down the street as she's, you know, walking. Like, it was just, it's beautiful. And like, can you, you know, speak more to like, you know, your inspiration behind, you know, the visuals and things? Um, well, uh, as far as like that, second side um we we're just talking about that um you know there's a lot of conflict going on you know that uh with uh you know we have ukraine uh and you know it's just been constant war here and there you know and stuff like that and and you know i'm, I'm not saying that you know we can end war with a song or anything <laughs> like that but again it's just a one uh view uh, that maybe it's different and uh, that scene uh, it, it ended up being perfect uh, we had the smoke going on we did the smoke grenades uh, I think Ariane really liked that <laughs> um, so yeah that's about all I can say I'm curious to really to hear, I love hearing your reflections too, and I, I love that you created such a, just an abstract visual based on a feeling and a perspective that you had, and then just really getting to hear from others about what that evokes from them. I was just curious to hear more uh, of your thoughts too. I love hearing uh, everything that you said and what you were reflecting upon it. Definitely. And I love that, um, you know, the scene with, you know, everybody running down the street and the little girls, you know, she's still kind of walking. I feel like that kind of represents of, you know, like, that innocence, that childlike nature and, mm -hmm. you know, of wanting peace and just wanting, you know, to have fun and be a child and just feel safe. And then the people kind of around her, the chaos, the, you know, the just, you know, ugliness kind of going on around you is kind of, you know, trying to be a positive force in the world. And then you kind of seeing how big the world is like even when yeah. you mentioned with the ukraine and things like that maybe a song isn't going to change the world but i think it's just little things like that little you know just catalyst of just even this initiative of we need to talk it, creating these community conversations it's a start you know right and right. at least we're making we're making changes where we can and kind of trying to inspire people to have more empathy and compassion for people and honestly that's kind of where you have to start yeah and and like um, you know, what I mentioned before is more like a, a world view, but, you know, just in a small community, you know, another thing the, that I really liked about having uh, the girl was that, you know, in our community, again, we were talking about how, you know, we're just not as nice to each other, you know, our opinions clash. We're living in an age of social media, which just exacerbate our opinions. And our kids are growing up in this, you know, and what we do 
reflects on them and uh, that was just a uh, a picture of what that's doing you know uh, our kids are supposed to be innocent you know a picture of innocence and uh, they should be that way as as long as possible we should be more like them definitely you know and I feel like that was even kind of a, you know, a message there, too. We should be more like the children. Like, she's moving forward, and everybody else is kind yeah. of running backwards. So, like, maybe she sees things, like, from a different perspective as a child. They kind of see the world in a big lens. Anything is kind of possible. And yeah. maybe if we saw it that way, things would get better. That's beautiful. <laughs> yeah. This is yeah. really nice first time getting to, like, hear the reflections and uh, uh, ponder all the different uh, ways that this is going to, uh, what it's all going to mean to people. So we are running out of time here, but before we kind of go, can you plug the contact information one more time so, you know, people can join the community conversation and give their feedback on Absolutely. it. Absolutely. Thank you so much. So this video is going to be available online on Facebook, Instagram, and on our website um, this Tuesday. So you're welcome to watch it online, but we'd also love you to, for you to join us in person on Thursday, July 20th at 7 p.m. at Stages Music School, where James is a teacher, 855 Mercer Street. Anyone is welcome to join us. There'll be the delicious food and beverage and just a, a warm welcoming environment um, please feel feel free to come out and join us for that and also just get involved by giving us a call writing to us on our website or on our Facebook page or stopping by to see us at our gallery at 869 Mercer Street in the grassroots district of downtown Princeton we're open Monday through Saturday 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Awesome. Thank you guys so much for joining us here at the forum. It's always a pleasure, Lori, and I hope you come back you. and see us too, James. Yeah, yeah. And guys, thank you all for tuning in this Sunday. Be sure to tune in next Sunday where we speak to more distinguished guests about important things that are happening here in Southern West Virginia. Have a happy Sunday.